Welcome to this video about how to schedule an access query uh, and export it to Excel and uh, send an email about the results. So we're going to use AutoSQL to do this. Uh, and AutoSQL needs an ODBC connection to the database that you uh, want to use. Uh, and in this case, we want to use the Northwind Access Database from Microsoft. And it contains a query called Top 10 Orders by Sales Amount, which we want to use uh, and which we want to output to Excel. Uh, and send the results uh, by email. So first of all, we need to set up an ODBC connection to this database. So therefore, we go to the ODBC data sources. We're going to add one and choose the Microsoft Access driver in this case. We're going to give it a, a Northwind name and of course, then also select the database that we need. So now we have uh, a new ODBC connection and we can already use it in AutoSQL. So now from the possible values, we have also the Northwind connection that we have set up. Now we also need to put in the query that we want to execute. And that's of course this one that we see here. Now, if we wanna use this, we can also view it as SQL. So here we have the SQL statement that's being executed. Now, if we paste this into Auto SQL and we press test query, you can actually see the results. And this is the same as in Access. So this is actually what we need. So this works. So now we can specify the output. And in this case, we wanna have an Excel file and we wanna write it to our desktop and call it top 10 sales. So we're gonna save this. So there it's gonna output um, the results. Uh, and then we also want to send an email. So we want to send an email from support and also to support. And then we say top 10 sales as off, and we can actually put in some placeholders like the date. Hi, this is, this is the top 10 sales. Card regards. And then we have a little message um, and we can also have some uh, some options to attach the result. So in this case, we want to attach it as long as it's not bigger than five megabytes. We also want to zip it if it is bigger than three. And then if it stays below five, it's still being uh, attached. You can also choose just to put in like the output path and then not put uh, put in the attachment so that people can just go to the path and, and look at the file. So now let's test if this works. So if you press test, well, we can already see that the file is being created and it also gives us the message that the email was sent successfully as well. So there we, uh, we look at the Excel file, which indeed contains the things we need. And if we go to Outlook, we also see that we have received uh, the email with the output path and also with uh, the attachment and also puts in like the date that we specified as a placeholder. So now it works. And now when we really want to schedule this, we can click on get background command. So that's the whole background command that's needed for a scheduler to, uh, to execute the commands that we've just created. Uh, now, if we go to the Windows task scheduler here, we can create a new task. And then if we go to actions, say new and paste the command that was put on the clipboard, then it will execute exactly what we have just created. And of course you can create a trigger to do this, for example, every month uh, or every week or every day, whatever. So then you have your whole process automated. So uh, on the schedule that you specify here, it will execute the query, write it to Excel uh, and send the email. 